playing a familiar tune, Prime Minister Ulysses Correa y Silva is trying to win votes in his final rally on the island of Sao Vicente. Using the slogan, The Safe Path, he tries to reassure the people of the small island nation that have suffered from the economic fallout of the COVID pandemic. He says he's the one that should be trusted to lead the country for the next five years. The vast construction work, the new hotels, this is no coincidence, it's our work. We have created jobs and built an atmosphere of trust attracting investors. All lies, according to his main challenger, young Janira Hoffer Almada from the old African Party for the Independence of Cape Verde, known as the PICV. She has been traveling across the islands meeting voters. The people know that beyond gender, what this country needs is someone that has the will to work. This is a race to build a better nation for us all. She accuses the Prime Minister of selling the country's assets, including the National Airline, the National Electric and Water Company. Almada says that the government has been mismanaging public funds. With the slogan, Um Cabo Verde para todos, meaning a Cape Verde for everyone, the opposition leader Almada is trying to appeal to both young first-time voters and the traditional electorate. If she wins, she will be making history, becoming the first female Prime Minister in this country's history. In this election, there are hundreds of candidates for only 72 seats in the National Assembly. An important portion of the electorate are the Cap Verdeans living abroad in the east coast of the United States, Portugal and Europe. They make up the majority of the population. The money they send back as well as tourism fuel the economy, allowing the government to invest in green energy, education and health care. And over the course of a generation, Cape Verde went from one of the world's least developed nations to a middle-income country. Sustaining this success is the challenge for the country's next leader. Nicholas Hawk, Al Jazeera, Praia.